Josie here. Welcome to my channel. For today, we are going to discuss the microscope, the brief history of microscope. It is fascinating to know the process by which many designers and inventors conceptualize an innovation. You will discover the different sciences who contributed to the invention of microscope. One of those is Hans and Zacharias Jensen in 1590. They produced the first compound microscope in the 1590s. They were Dutch eyeglass makers. They began experimenting with ways to use different lenses. When they put a lens at the end of a small tube, they discovered that the objects near the end were magnified more than the lens by itself could achieve. Next is Galileo Galilei. He was credited with inventing one of the first compound microscopes in the year 1625. It is called compound microscope because it has more than one lens. He added a focusing device to his microscope and of course went on to explore the heavens with his telescopes. In 1665, Robert Hooke had access to many microscopes available in Royal Society of London. He examined everything he could get his hands on. When he examined a very thin slice of cork, he thought the close-up views resembled small empty rooms. It reminded him of small rooms found in monastery. Thus the name these rooms cells. This gives way to the discovery of cell. In 1674, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, Dutch scientist, worked to create stronger lenses that result to more powerful microscope. He was one of the first scientists able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of pan powder. The prototype for the compound microscope was credited to Joseph Jackson Lister in 1830, which reduces spherical aberration or the chromatic effect by showing that several weak lenses used together at certain distances gave a good magnification without blurring the image. Ernst Abbe, research director of the Ziz Optical Works, wrote a mathematical formula called the Abbe sign condition. His formula provided calculation that allowed for the maximum resolution in microscopes possible in 1872. In 1903, Richard Sigmundi developed the ultramicroscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light, and he won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1925. Fritz Zernay invented the phase contrast microscope in 1932 that allowed for the study of colorless and transparent biological materials for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1953. In 19th century, companies in Germany like this and an American company founded by Charles Spencer began producing fine optical microscopes. Let's have a short activity. Make a brief timeline about the development of the microscope. You will call it time zone travel from the past to the present. The first one is done for you to serve as guest. The answer? Describe the following scientists below and tell something about their contribution to the development of the microscope. Write your answer on your activity notebook. The answer? That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos. Bye!